Welcome to the Imaginers Workshop. I'm Jay Willow. We're here at Skyline Trail, just west of Phoenix, Arizona, in Buckeye, Arizona. This is a trail that takes you up to a peak. We're going to take it today. Come along, we'll see how it is. Well, the trail from the parking lot is uh, not too bad. It's a little bit of incline, and uh, they call this a moderate trail. You can get some great views of the uh, West Valley from up here on the Turnbuckle Trail. But the trail meanders through this rocky mountain here. It's an amazing sight to see. There's a great nurse tree example. Check out the video, Nurse in the Desert. The great thing about this trail is they have these signposts and it has the trail and it tells you information about them. I really like that, especially here. Well, you get some bike riders coming down this trail, you got to be a little careful. Most of them are pretty courteous about giving way, but I always get off the trail. I never want to be the cause of an accident or be in an accident. I'm off the Granite Falls Trail and we're headed up the turnbuckle. It's about a half mile up to the top. That's where we're going. This is probably the hardest part of the trail. Where we just came from is not too bad. The Chuckawalla and the Granite Falls Trail. A lot of folks on bikes like that. For myself, I like having both feet on the ground. The temperature is about 60 degrees here today. Not bad at all for a hike in the desert. Up to the turnbuckle. We're here at the uh, top of the summit. We've got about three tenths of a mile to the top of Valley Vista. It's not going to be too bad. We're almost there. Well, we made it up to the top of Val Vista uh, on Turnbuckle Trail here outside of Buckeye, Arizona. And um, we're going to be reading a declaration. There's a lot of declarations being spoken over the United States at this time. Some of them are bad declarations, but this is a declaration for life and for Jesus. Father, according to your word and in obedience to your word, I come boldly before you into the courtroom of heaven. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ through the shed blood of Jesus, the body of Jesus and the mind of Jesus, which you gave so freely. According to your word and in obedience to your word, I renounce the sins, iniquities, and the hidden works of darkness all the way back to the first thought, word and deed and gesture as to many generations back as need be. I renounce the corruption, all fetishes, curses, or satanic ritualistic expressions that have defiled this ground. I render them void of power and expression from this time forth. I remit these sins even to the descendants of those generations that are alive to this day. I remit their sins and send your goodness and laborers to finish the work of redemption, healing, and reconciliation. I ask you, Father, to cleanse this ground and release it from blood guiltlessness. I ask you to return its purity, bring it back from under the curse of its groanings. I say to you, earth, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be free from this innocent blood and all records of transgressions against you. Come back and be restored into life and fruitfulness so that you may be a blessing as you were meant to be. I release you, earth, and call back life and health and peace I lift off the heavy yoke of condemnation from the animals, the birds, and humans, from the ground all the way to heaven, so that the Father can bless. Let's finish the declaration that was written by Henry Gruber. Henry Gruber is a longtime prayer walker. And that's what we've been doing, hitting these peaks, praying over the Valley of the Sun and other places within the state of Arizona. We're praying that God's goodness, all the way from the ground to the heavens, would be upon this land. And remember, the best is yet to come.